What's up, everybody? Fatty Maddie here, back with some more God of War. Um, so I know originally I think I said I was gonna go do main quests. I want the rest of this armor, so we're still using the Darkdale arms. I think because we found the other two pieces here, we'll find the third piece as well. But I don't know. Spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. So there was this spot here where we got our butts kicked by this level three guys, but we are Pretty much on par with him now, so we should be good to try at least. I mean, they hit hard. Whoa, that was a new one. Let me grab this. did what I didn't want him to do, so. Nope, that's a dodge, Matt. There, that'll take care of those guys. Oh, you're the big guy. I got confused on who was who. I need to get this guy down. Okay, he's dead. Now it's just me and you, buddy. Gosh. 
This one's different. Okay, never mind, I guess. There's gotta be something else we can do out here. We already did that. Already did the Huffgar thing there. What's this here? Okay, why is that not? I was wondering if maybe I could... There. That. Shield attachment. Power to unleash further ruin upon a cursed enemy. Okay, so this is done. Namir, I know this sounds weird, but... Can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the lake of souls in Alpine, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alpine's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The lake of souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, I it's well on its way. Is this where I've already been? I feel like I've already been down here. Yeah, we've already been down here. Okay, somewhere else then. Returning to my anecdote about the Heath Witches, they fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough detail they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Set that aside for now. Come. Gotta be a way to do these. I don't know though. Come on.
Dwarven steel, rawhide. I'm almost betting I get that other armor from that stupid fight. That's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Kolfar. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. With mothers? Yes. Like your mothers. Look here. New lore marker, Gulan Kol. Thanks to the opposition's grotesque hypocrisy, Alfheim's Gulan are a threat to our livelihood. Though I have culled many on the surface, there are undoubtedly more down below the Dark Elves' hovels. So long as we deny them access to our light, the pair at the desert, desert's entrance shall remain the only docile version of these foul beasts. Let them remain. They will serve as useful subjects for further light infusion experimentation. The Maven. Hmm. They're doing experiments on these two, huh? Back to my story. A thane of my homeland, manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. No more for now. Focus. We've been here as well. Feels like it. Yeah. That's just the way we came out of the other cave. Father, we hold the lyre together. The instrument. Why? We hunt, we train. Those are the only two things you do to distract yourself. They are not distractions. Oh, of course not. I just thought it'd be nice to learn some music. You could teach me, and... No. It's stupid. Never mind. We did that. If I may resume my tale. The Heath Witches were looking to tie up loose ends, and so revisited the Thane they'd manipulated into assassinating his king. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. We really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw claims to get sore, but thank you, I. Okay. Now that he's done blabbing his mouth off. That's one. Second one was there. Okay, we're gonna have to go up. Well then, oh, it follows you. Well, that's uh, interesting and annoying in that part that I got stuck there. Can I get up though? That's the question. No. Hmm. So why did I break those things then? What did that give me access to? I see if the third one is up there or it's clear up there.
Just try. Too high. Another horn. That's two out of three. Okay. Oh, I gotta remember to ask Pierre about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. Do you wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. I uh, don't think I've been here. No, I have not been here. Behind you! Watch out! That miss. That's not good. That's gonna hurt. Pick it up! Oh my gosh, that's not health. Why does he always do what I don't I'm not even I'm just trying to block the moves are mapped so close together on the timings it's kind of rough sometimes like That one's dead. You're such a coward, dude. Right 
It's not a satisfying enough kill to them. Lore scroll. What's that? A diagram. Or a sword. Oh, a sword hilt. Lost pages. These pages are very old and could be anywhere. It is likely the relics outlined in these diagrams are very powerful. Gauntlets of Radiance. Is that what I'm using? Yes. There we go. Okay, we got them all. Shield attachment. We got the Rond. Shield strikes. Double attack L1 against status afflicted enemies. Consume the element causing a damage elemental explosion. Kind of like that. Better. The more hack silver. There's a bird. Right there. So this. So this. New lore marker, the tower's purpose. Though it now serves as a military outpost, this tower's architecture indicates a different function in the time before the division of light and dark. I could find no mention within the archives, which is not altogether unusual. Many of the texts within have been sanitized across generations, but the very absence of any information is telling in and of itself. What sacrilegious ceremonies were held here so imical to our current status quo that the librarians eradicated all mention of this tower's true purpose. I can't help but assume the answer is the key to a lasting peace council. And this. Horn. Horn. Not to be confused with Galahorn, this piece symbolizes peace, or at least Freyr's Hope for peace. It was said amongst the more easily excitable of the elves that one day Freyr would blow the horn of quiet and in so doing bring an end to the war between the elves. Just wishful thinking, I'm afraid. No prophecy ever spoke of such a horn, and as far as I can tell, no such item exists. But that didn't stop the elves from hoping. Can't fault them for that. And yeah, that should be everything here. Souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul? But not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this stupid thing. I'm going to try this one more time, but. I don't think it's gonna go well. Wow, he just two shot me, basically. Well, that's cool. Not. Oh! 
He basically one shot me. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. No. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness, dude. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress. One too angry to die. We will see. Whew. Those fights are no joke, man. Chaos Spark. That's how we're gonna upgrade our Shield holding up, lad. It's good. I always knew Sinji was a great blacksmith, but this magical shield it just feels natural. The shield is well made, but it is you who wields it with skill. Thanks. Yeah, we're basically done here because, like, there's nothing else left to do. And that took like 30 minutes, surprisingly. So it's basically time to go back. Um, Whatever you need. I don't think I have anything to upgrade. Uh, I'll heat up the forge. Need more dwarven steel for that. Hilt of the Angrival. Slash forward three waves of light that deal increased damage against enemies inflicted with Sonic. No, that sounds cool. We need Skirner's Gambatine. Whatever that is. We can sell some things. Oh, I can actually upgrade his stuff? I did not know that. Kratos? Sell some artifacts. This must be from Alfheim. Explains the uh sand. Alright, we're gonna end it here guys. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.